In this presentation, we will look at the UK Parliament. The Parliament of the United Kingdom, commonly referred to as the British Parliament or Westminster Parliament, not to be confused with the English Parliament, which doesn't exist, is the supreme legislative body in the United Kingdom and British Overseas Territories. Parliament alone possesses legislative supremacy over all other political bodies in the UK and its territories. The Parliament is headed by the Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, and is bicameral with an Upper House, the House of Lords, and the Lower House, the House of Commons. The Queen, or Monarch, is the third component of legislature. No individual may be a member of both Houses, and members of the House of Lords are legally barred from voting in elections for members of the House of Commons. Each House is presided over by a Speaker the Speaker of the House of Commons and the Lord Speaker in the House of Lords. The House of Commons elects one of its new members as the Speaker at the beginning of each new parliamentary term. The Speaker acts as the presiding officer. If the incumbent Speaker seeks a new term, then the House may re-elect him or her by passing a motion or through a secret ballot. The Speaker's place may be taken by three deputies. Speakers must be politically impartial. Therefore, on election, the new Speaker must resign from their political party and remain separate from political issues, even in retirement. However, the Speaker will deal with their constituents' problems like normal. The Speaker and his Deputy Speakers are expected to be non-partisan and do not cast a vote except in the case of a tie. The Lord Speaker, however, is expected to lay aside any party or group affiliation on appointment and to refrain from political activity, including voting in the House of Lords. The House of Commons has the power to hold the government to account through passing a motion of no confidence. If passed, the government must either resign or seek fresh elections. Such a motion does not require passage by the House of Lords or royal assent.